What's going on you guys? Cutting from Cutting TV. We are back at it again with another episode. If you're watching this in the morning or maybe in the afternoon or maybe at night or maybe in between that time between night and morning, welcome. This is 82 Seconds with Cuddy. I'm so happy to have you guys here. It's another episode. I've missed you guys since, well, yesterday. I seen you guys yesterday, but you're seeing me again today, so that's gotta be a benefit, right? I would love to give a shout out to the sponsor of the video before we get started, so you guys know who is responsible for this beautiful video that you're watching currently. I would like to give a shout out to Ooh La La Vegan, a vegan meal prep company here inside of Las Vegas. They are based out of it. Uh, they started in Atlanta. They are in Las Vegas. And if you need anything vegan, literally, I know the chef. She literally makes anything vegan. Definitely check them out. Ooh la la vegan. Definitely go tap in with them, the sponsor of this video. And we're going to be talking about a lot of dope topics today. I'm super excited for this video. Uh, if you're not here for basketball, then... You're on the wrong video because we're going to be talking basketball today. But let's get started with today's topics. No more further ado. Let's get straight into it. All right. We're going to start this video off with something that Joe Biden did, actually. So we're going to show a lot of love to Joe Biden because if you didn't know, he made a couple of changes. He has made the largest increase in EBT history. So we're gonna talk about that first because that to me is important for everybody with EBT. And then we're going to talk about the Taliban situation or what's going on in Afghanistan. If you don't know, the Taliban have taken over the Afghanistan government. This is real, I'm not lying to you. Then to end out this video, we have to talk basketball because I love basketball and this wouldn't be 82 seconds with Cuddy if we didn't talk basketball. So Joel Embiid signs for $196 million. The real question is where does this leave Ben Simmons? And we have to talk about the iconic Christmas Day, because there's going to be a lot of games that you're going to want to see, specifically the one I'm going to be speaking about, the Lakers and Nets. So no more further ado, let's get straight into it. 82 Seconds with Cuddy begins now. All right, guys, so you may not have voted for Joe Biden. It's all good. Don't tell me who you voted for because personally, I do not care. But we do have to give roses when roses are supposed to be given out. That's what 82 Seconds with Cuddy is for. And let's talk about the news. So uh, let's talk about Joe Biden. So he's made the largest permanent increase in EBT history. That's right. Everybody on EBT will be getting a 25% increase on any on their balance you know whatever it is now so for example from what i've seen if you're making 121 dollars a month you now make about 156 dollars a month so definitely may not be the biggest increase but the largest increase for sure and the reason why he's doing this increase is because he wants people on ebt to eat healthier options now for you guys who don't know i turned vegan about a year ago and i definitely can see the side effects of eating bad food and eating good food so i'm all in for healthy alternatives healthier eating so i'm cool with it i'm definitely happy that he made the change um i think that People will start taking their health more serious. Hopefully they won't just start buying more junk food. That would completely eliminate the reason why he did the increase. Uh, he's literally now making a chart for families on EBT to show them different alternatives that they can use, like drinking almond milk versus regular milk. Um, you know, juicing your fruit instead of buying 100% juice. So I think that is super, ex I'm super excited about that. It starts in October. So if you're on EBT in October, if you see a little bit of money in your account, that's why people want you to eat healthier and they're trying to give you the money to go do it. So don't waste this opportunity. Go eat healthier. 
Um, I'm definitely happy about that. So shout out to Joe Biden. I mean, if he if we don't know anything that he's done, this is pretty major allowing families to be able to have more money, to be able to go eat healthier, and you're providing them with more healthier options. Literally, he has a chart that's like broken down, like, okay, dairy, protein, grains, uh, fruit, like everything. So if you didn't know how to eat healthier and you're on EBT in October, you're damn sure about to find out because he's gonna make sure. So. If you're on EBT, this is good news for you. Let me know how much of what it's going to do for you. Is it going to impact you and your family? Is it a plus? Is it a benefit? What do you think he's doing this for? Uh, let me know inside of the comments. That's definitely something I want to hear your opinion on. Um, but for me, I think I'm happy for everybody that's on EBT. I think that the more people get more knowledge or more healthier options, the more you know, the more you'll go after it. So I think that's a benefit. And I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Right now it's for good. Let's see when October comes. That's going to be the true test. So if you didn't know, Joe Biden permanently increased EBT up 25% for all families. So that's going to be a good little increase for you coming inside of October. All right, let's move on to the next topic, which is Joe Biden related also. Uh, this guy is just making a killing. I ain't even going to lie. Uh, so if you didn't know, the Taliban's like, seriously, let me break this down for y'all. The Taliban's have taken over the Afghan government. Like, you know, when you watch a movie and there's like criminals and they're coming in and they're like, I'm going to take this over. This is mine now. That's really what just happened in Afghanistan. Like literally people were trying to hold on to the U.S. Air Force plane to leave Afghanistan. Thousands of people are trying to flee the country because the Taliban's have taken over and the Afghanistan government has left. Like, what would, what would we do if Joe Biden just left and a bunch of criminals came in and they're like, this is our thing now. We're going to run this. We're going to provide stability. It's almost like a dictatorship. Wow. That's how it feels. So. If you didn't know, Afghanistan government has been completely overran by Taliban. Um, and this is 100% true. Like, you can go look at it on TikTok. You can go look at it on Twitter. Um, the Taliban, the reason why they said they did it, I know, I know, I, I know. They said that they want peace and stability. So you took over the government to bring peace and stability. But you're also caught saying death to Americans. So do you want peace and stability for Afghanistan? Or do you just want us to get the hell out of your country? I don't know which one. Um, Joe Biden does have a play on this though. He did just literally withdraw all the American troops from Afghanistan. His quote was, if they don't want to fight their own battle, why are we fighting their battle? Which makes total sense. You got America out here fighting for Afghanistan and the Afghanistan government is fleeing the country. That makes no sense. Like not at all. So again, good Joe Biden move by taking us out of Afghanistan. He is, not, he is the fourth president to withdraw soldiers from a war situation if you didn't know. So the war in Afghanistan, may be over for america but has just started for the people inside of afghanistan so sending my prayers out to all of you guys i hope that you know the government comes back i hope you guys like figure something out because like that is super scary like they're out there with american-based guns literally it looks like the purge like it's crazy like i wouldn't say purge I don't know what I would say, but I know it looks crazy and it's really real. So go do your research. Go check that out, man. Afghanistan government. You got people looking at you. Come on. Come back. Come back and do your job. 
Uh, let's move on though. Let's talk about some basketball. We have to talk basketball. When you watch 82 seconds with Cuddy, the only thing that's guaranteed is we're gonna be talking basketball. So, Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid, wow. To think he came from here, now he's here. See, Joel Embiid just signed for $196 million for four years. Not five years like everybody else, four years. His whole contract with his current contract that he has right now with the new one that he just signed totals up to $271 million by 2027. Collecting the bag. Guaranteed, trust the process, the process was trusted, and the bag came. My only question is, where does this leave Ben Simmons? Now, Ben Simmons has been in a lot of trade talks. They're talking about him going to the Knicks, talking about him going to the Clippers, then they're talking about him going to the Warriors, and that he is open to be traded. So, my question to you guys is, does this Joel Embiid Supermax contract Leave us with the decision that we know that Ben is making his way out of Philly. I, I want to know. So let me know what you think inside of the comments. I think that this does set the bar for Ben Simmons that, you know, we kind of made our choice, brother. So you had a couple of seasons to prove yourself. You didn't. We're going to go with Joel and we're going to find a place for you. So let me know what you think, especially if you're a Sixers fan. How do you feel about this move? Uh, if you ask me, it's good for you guys. Joel Embiid has been nothing but a force for you guys. He finished top three. Oh, I'm, I'm putting my second finger up. He finished top three in the MVP voting last year. The last time that that happened, Allen Iverson was on the team. So I think you guys secured a pretty good bag and it was spent well. So congratulations to Joel Embiid securing the bag guaranteed and Ben Simmons we're all going to be watching where you end up next but before we get out of here we have to talk about Christmas Day we can't go on basketball and not talk about Christmas Day they literally released the Christmas Day schedule and the primetime game on there is Lakers versus Nets now, everybody wants to see this in the finals. Everybody wants to see Kyrie and LeBron, KD and Russell. My question to you guys is, who wins out of a four-game series? Do the Nets win or do the Lakers win? The Lakers, I believe both teams have a strong top three. I'm guessing, you know, they got James Harden, Kevin Durant, and uh, Kyrie on the Nets. And then they got AD, LeBron James, and Russell Westbrook on the Lakers. So to all of my fans out there, who would win in a four game series, Lakers or Nets? And the good news is on Christmas day, we're going to have a great Christmas day because we're going to be able to find out at least who wins game one. So they may play before, but Christmas Day is going to be the game where we really see them ball out. And that's going to be the game I'm going to be excited for. So that's the game I'm talking about. So that's the news for the day. It's been a lot going on inside of the world. You know, EBT got an increase. Taliban's have taken over the Afghan government. Joel Embiid secured the bag. And Christmas Day, we have a lot to look forward to because the Lakers and Nets are going to be playing against each other and this is what we want to see in the finals. So it seems like we have a great year ahead of us. A lot of good changes are coming. And I wouldn't really be mad at anything that goes on. So pretty happy about everything that's going on. Definitely let me know in the comments how you feel about all of these topics. How you feel about all of these subjects. And definitely, if you're a Sixers fan, let me know how you feel about Ben. Are you going to keep him or are you going to get rid of him? And are you happy that Joel Embiid has secured the bag? So 82 seconds with Cutting Man. I'm so happy to have you guys back. I hope you enjoyed this new segment. I hope you're all caught up. And I hope that not only do you stay tuned for more, but you subscribe. 
make sure to subscribe to the channel to never miss an episode and then like this video for a friend to see so let me know what you want to hear about tomorrow or the next 82 seconds with Cuddy, and i'll make sure to add it on to the list this is Cuddy from Cuddy tv and i'm signing out